Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Invisible Ink. Last time we uh, sort of did our first mission and got a feel for the game, and uh, we're about to go ahead and uh, see what we can do with our, uh, our second mission here. I've re-established contact with Monster. His network picked up the attack just before it hit us, and we're working to trace it back to the source. In the meantime, he's offered to sell us some of his more rarefied stock. Greetings. I don't often perform transactions face-to-face, -face, but Gladstone is an old friend. I'll contact you when anything becomes available. Thank you, Monster. If we find their central server, we may be able to bring them down, or at least distract them long enough that they lose our trail. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted as more intel develops. Alrighty. So Monster uh, will occasionally, as uh, was said, kind of have stuff for us to sell. We can actually also upgrade our agents here before uh, we go to the next mission, but I don't think I will. He actually looks like he has something now. I'm taking a big risk selling to you right now, so don't make me regret it. So he's got a Buster Chip 1, which will allow us to manually break through two firewalls with one of our agents. Ah, uh, you know, I think I'll buy this. It's not that expensive. Something tells me I'm not going to see that item again in one piece. <laughs> Monster's a little bit of a smartass. Uh, to be able to use it, we need somebody with Anarchy 2, and honestly, we want somebody with Anarchy 2 anyway. Um, primarily because, uh, Anarchy 2, we can go through through these stats a little bit while we're, while we're here as well. Anarchy 2 allows us to steal from, uh, from guards, and then as it goes, goes up and up and up, we, uh, we get, a, you know, more credits, better chance to find items, that kind of thing. But it also is attached to, uh, the skills attached to some items, like the Buster Chip. Additionally, strength uh, gives us more item slots. For example, we have uh, we can carry up to eight items, but if we go into the red here, we're going to be encumbered and we lose action points every turn. So that's uh, it's ideal if you can av avoid that. Uh, it also lets us drag people around uh, a little bit more efficiently. Hacking is going to basically give us extra power anytime we hijack a console, and uh, speed just gives us extra um, action points every uh, every turn. So there we go. Now, who do we want? I'm, I'm thinking Nika is going to get the Anarchy upgrade here. So we just go like that, and let's uh, let's go back to Mission Select and see what we got. Ah, this is perfect. These uh, detention centers tend to have other agents in them, and uh, I would love to get a, a third agent on our team, so let's go ahead and do this one. Detention centers hold high-value human assets for interrogation and deprogramming. They may be intercepted invisible agents on site. All right, so we can only have four agents at a time, but uh, since we only have two, it's like I said, definitely in our best interest to try to get uh, our ranks filled out kind of ASAP here. All right, let's see what we get. Recon the uh, detention center, get out alive and get money. Oops, I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, the agents sometimes have little, uh, little things they say at the beginning of, uh, of a mission. Okay, we got a camera there. Whoops, wrong, uh, wrong character. There we go. Feeling okay about opening this up. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start hacking some stuff. We'll get the camera, we'll do the power supply as well. These are usually linked to things, uh, like infrared scanners that increase, uh, the alarm if you go through them, or uh, maybe like a uh, a laser grid of some kind. Yeah, like over here, we can see what it turned off. Um, and the laser grids, you know, you can't get through them uh, without turning them off, so. Let's open this thing up, see what we got. A couple uh, corporate saves. All right, so important to note, this is the first time we've, uh, we've seen these. Uh, sometimes things that we can hack have daemons on them. Daemons are bad. They, uh... Basically, once we finished hacking it, they create an effect of some kind. It could be increasing the firewall, it could be, uh, like, summoning a guard, uh, draining power, that kind of thing. That said, there's also a chance that we are able to, uh, Incognita, rather, is able to, like, reverse the daemon and give us a, a small benefit, but it doesn't happen very often. So I'm going to, uh, probably avoid messing with that, I think. Not worth the risk. Our, our primary objective here is absolute, absolutely just to get the agent. Um, anything else we get is gravy. Let's actually uh, maybe peek over this way. So we got a guard in here. 
He's stationary. Hmm. I think, uh... Yeah, we can come around this way, though. Ah, there's actually another, uh... Thing to hack right there. We'll absolutely do that. An inactive camera there. So let's see. Let's go around like this, maybe? See if we can get a better look in here. I'm looking for, like, a camera or something, maybe. There's another safe with a daemon on it. We'll be hacking that, probably. I think I'm gonna leave Sharp here for now. How are we doing on power? There we go. All right, so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can distract this other guard, maybe. Because as it stands right now, uh, we're gonna get spotted, and that's, uh, kind of bad news. It'd be great if we could just get around him, actually, but I kind of have my doubts as to whether or not we're gonna be able to swing that. So this is, like, oh, okay, so yeah, there is something down here. Um, I'll, prob I'll probably have Nika just grab this, um, this little uh, console over here just because she's near it before moving on but uh, that's where some guards are potentially going to be spawning in later ah there is a camera there I thought there there might be just kind of based on the uh, the way that the uh, area looked let's take a look in here too man guards everywhere in here <laughs> this is uh it's gonna be interesting that's for sure Still doing okay on security level, though. Um, oh, and a drone. Now, this could be useful. We can hack drones. And uh, hacking drones will allow us to temporar uh, temporarily take uh, control of them. And we can explore with them and all that kind of good stuff. So it's it's a good idea to, to hack them when you can. I probably should have had uh, Nika sprint there, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, I, could, uh, I could have her hack this safe, but uh, I don't know. That's, I think it's too dangerous. I think we can open this door safely. Oh, Did you see that? nope, I guess we can't. Well, we'll, uh, we'll close this door. And uh, let's, uh, let's hack this camera as well. And I think we better put Sharp on ambush mode because uh, we're about to uh, get spotted here. Actually, maybe we won't. Let's, let's try something. Sometimes I think the guards will walk right by you, potentially. But I think he's going to look around once he gets to here, which is going to be bad news for us. So actually, I will put him on ambush. Or actually, maybe maybe even better. What if we just, like, left? <laughs> and let him come through the door and make him think that, uh, you know, it was nothing. I'm just a little twitchy tonight. Yeah. That might be our, 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 best, uh, our best bet here. All right, new cameras being activated. Let's uh, make sure we go ahead and we'll hack both of these. And where's our drone at? Yeah, right here. So we've hacked this drone. We're going to use him to explore the uh, the area a little bit. I'm thinking I would like him to go down here. The guards won't be suspicious of the drone. So that's our exit. Uh, I think we can't go any further, though, so that's fine. Um, but it looks like there's got to be... Looks, I think this probably goes into here, but I'm thinking that this area down here might be where our, uh, our our agent is. So we'll see. We got the drone for one more turn. We're not going to be able to really make it anywhere, so I'm just going to explore probably the rest of that area. This is interesting. The, the daemon database actually will tell us what these other daemons are, but uh, it's got a daemon on it itself, so I think I'm just going to leave it be. Well, uh, yeah, just take a peek through there. The guard is still there. Um, just gonna move Nika up. I don't think the guard's gonna come over here. Yeah, he he uh, he went back inside. That's good. Okay. We got our cameras hacked. That's actually fairly uh, useful. This guy looks like he's stationary. Anytime they're checking their PDAs or something, they're, I think they're usually stationary. All right. So I think uh, we've gotten all we're going to get out of our camera drone. Now what I think we want to do is create a distraction. Oh, there's another area up here even I didn't see. Huh, that uh, that could be uh, could be tricky. Maybe we uh, we do come down here with Sharp. And uh, let's peek in here. And next turn we'll, we'll try and take a look at this guy to see what he's going to do. 
And uh, we're going to get Nika moving up here as well. Good to close doors when you can, I think. Um, just in case, like, when people are going to spawn behind you, for example. Now, uh, now that we've lost control of the camera, uh, it's going to be uh, basically KO'd for like a turn or two while it reboots. And then I think the, the drone will be suspicious. Uh, and if anybody sees that drone while it's rebooting, it'll be they will be suspicious as well. So this guy's stationary. And this guy, is just, he just goes back and forth. Uh, well, I think we're not going to get away with... Um, with not KOing some of these guys. So I'm going to hope that our, our guy's up this way, I think. So we'll open this up. And uh, we'll close it again. And I'm going to bring Nika over like so. And uh, put her on ambush mode. And uh, hope that everything goes well. <laughs> I, found a I, wanna, drone. Yeah, I want to avoid alerting this guy if I can. Ah, he's a uh, he was a banshee type uh, of guard. So basically, when he go gets KO'd, he increases the firewall uh, level of anything that's nearby to him, or if he uh, or if he sees an agent or something as well. All right, so he's gonna remain pinned. I think I'm gonna have Nika actually sneak through here, and uh, I'm gonna have Sharp do the pin on this guy. We'll close the door just to be safe, and. Uh, Next turn, we'll, we'll get a look at what's going on over this way. There we go. The drone looks like the drone's back up. We could hack it again if we wanted to, but I'm not going to just yet. I don't think it's necessary. Okay, yeah, this is where we want to be. There's definitely something going on here. Carlita has detected an agent currently logged as MIA. They would be an incredible asset if you can get them back on the team. Okay, we got a, uh, a new agent here, so that's good. That's our primary objective, after all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and uh, actually let me uh, let me see. Yeah, we're going to get spotted if we uh, try to go in. So I'm going to just uh, hang out and wait, I think, and put her on ambush. Let's see what the next security uh, level is going to bring for us. All firewalls up by one. That's acceptable. Actually, I should have started uh, hacking this now that I think about it so we can actually open the door. But uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, I wonder if uh, we can get away without knocking this guy out. Probably not. So I'm just gonna put her on ambush. Looking around. Stop there. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know why. Uh, did I not have enough power? Like, she can KO this guy. I don't know why she didn't. <laughs> but our agents are faster than they are. So uh, that's you know, that's one way to do it. All right, what's this guy got? Just some credits. We'll absolutely take those. And we'll start dragging this guy in here. And uh, we we'll, should be able to get to this thing next turn, I think. Might actually... This, this drone is actually getting kind of a little bit too close for comfort. So I'm going to start hacking him now, I think. And hopefully Nika won't get spotted. That scan is uh, will basically detect any agents nearby, but if if they're through the wall and stuff, I don't think they get detected, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's open this thing up. We got Rush. Now our agents don't start with anything, uh, so that's sort of bad news. Rush uh, comes with a kinetic capacitor augment, which gives her one KO damage and one armor piercing. Uh, but I, I actually think this is uh, and this this is when she uh, when she sprints. But I actually think that this is bugged a little bit. I don't. I, it doesn't seem to give the armor piercing. I'm not sure about the KO damage. That was my experience when I played with her uh, in my beginner game. So I'm not uh, not sure what's up with that. So uh, maybe drag this guy like around to there, maybe just in case this drone gets too close. And uh, I think we're going to get out of here, which means we're going to have to actually find a way to distract that guy. I'm not sure if the patrols are going to change or not. Oh, one more guard. Oh, and he came in this way, so that's good for us, for sure. Now, it is unfortunate that our agents don't start with any gear because we don't have... We, she has no way to knock anybody out, but we can still use her 
to uh, pin and that kind of stuff. So she's not uh, she's not totally useless by any stretch of the imagination. I'm feeling pretty safe here, so I'm actually gonna just let that guy chill out and uh, move on here. We should be long gone by the time he wakes up. Where is our where's our drone at? There it is. Let's just uh, send our drone back down this way to uh, to keep him out of our hair, basically. Oh, actually, our our entrance is through here. I should have sent him the other way. I thought it was uh, I thought we had to go this way, but I yeah I, I misread that a little bit. That's okay. Um, we'll uh, we'll be able to do this. Let's observe this guy though. So he's coming this way, which is fine. Um. How do we want to handle this? I think we uh, put our agents down here. I'm actually going to have her, uh, might as well, may as well hack this while we're here. I don't think she'll get spotted there. I hope not anyway. And then when we get the chance, we'll uh, we'll have Sharp come down here as well. There is one guard in there, so we gotta, we gotta, we're going to have to figure that out. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Um, I guess I'll just move this drone back through this way for now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, he didn't spot us. And uh, he hasn't quite uh, decided, uh, or he hasn't quite reached his destination. It seems like... Uh, Oh yeah, this guy probably woke up, and he's gonna come out and check over here. So we need to take this opportunity, I think, to uh, to move on here. So what we'll do is we'll send. We're gonna send her, I think, over to here, and then I'm gonna send her over to here. And uh, Rush can actually observe this guy. He's gonna turn around, I think. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that will be fine, and then we can actually, um, we should be able to just close that up, and we'll put Sharp right there. He should be, uh, he shouldn't get spotted there, I don't think, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Looking around. Yeah, okay. Absolutely nothing going on. Investigating. Yeah, so this guy is going to be alerted for the rest of the map, I think, but, uh, or the rest of the, uh, the mission. Okay, let's uh, I'm gonna rehack uh, this camera drone just to be safe, and we need to draw this uh, this other guy out. Oh, he can't even see it. <laughs> All right, I guess we don't need to worry about that. We'll uh, go ahead and put sharp right here, I think, and uh, let's have. Nika come over and uh, ambush this guy. Where is he going to go? Yeah, he's going to go right through there. So I, uh, I'm i going to put Nika... Actually, she doesn't quite have enough uh, action points. If I put her there, that won't quite do it, I don't think. It's actually okay, though. It's not, gonna, not really going to matter too terribly much, so I'll put her here. And uh, I'll put Rush right there. And I think I'll also just close this door to be safe. All right. You should be able to get out of here, though. Cutting it a little bit close here. <laughs> yeah, cutting it real, real close. This is a dangerous situation that we're in. Okay. So my thought is we got to, for sure, knock out that guy. So let's move Rush right there. We'll move Nika here. And uh, we'll knock this guy out. Take his stuff, may as well. Might have been easier to go out the other way, but it's a little bit too late now. I think we, yeah, if we move here, they're going to get suspicious, but that's okay. I don't mind them getting suspicious. They won't make it here in one turn anyway. What was that? What was that? Investigating. Okay, so, all right, here's my plan. 
We need to get sharp over here. And I hope this guy doesn't see him on the way through. Camera did see us, but that's that's fine. That's not a big deal. Just because we're uh, we're going a little bit a little bit faster here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna KO this guy. And then we come over here and uh, move her in there. We'll move her in there. Investigating. And uh, actually, if we just move one more over, I think we win. I think we're good here. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we got a new agent. A little bit of money on the nice side. Work, operator. We don't leave our people behind. They're much more useful under our control. All right, and the mission report. Missed a few safes, that's okay. And uh, yeah, our net worth is going up. I think this is basically a score. But that's going to do it for uh, for this episode. When we come back, we shall uh, put our new agent to the test and see what other kind of missions pop up. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.